Hi, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm so glad you're here. Today's uh, lesson will be done in two segments because I don't think I could finish it in one. And so uh, some will be done now and some next, you will see next week. The Rebishtar put us into Golis. This Golis that we're in now, since the Chorm of the Beis HaMikdash, is 1,946 years. I think I have to do the math again, but it's not 2,000 years like people sing in their Color War songs. Every day that we're in Golis extra is horrible. So, the Rebbe's to put us into this Golis Golos Gela, the Rebbe speaks about this very often. Gela, Gela, Gola, however you say it, is spelled Gimel Vav Lamed Hey. That's Gela, Golos. Geula is Gimel Aleph Vav Lamed Hey. The entire difference between Gela and Geula is an Aleph. Now there's different kinds of Goliaths, yeah? There's macro and there's micro. There's your own personal Golas that you're in and there's this Golas of Kalali soil. I wanna to speak today about your personal, our personal Golas. Each one of us has our own personal Golas. And in these days of Sphira, we're coming out of our Golas and hoping for Geulah that we should go in Teretz Yisrael and we should go min ha-meitzat el ha So let's look at the word Gela and Geula. As I said, Gela is Gimel Vav Lamed He. Geula is Gimel Aleph Vav Lamed He. What is that Aleph? The first Aleph is Alufei Shel Elam. The Rebishter. If you understand that the Golis that you're in comes from Hashem, then you understand that it's not your fault. I'm going to tell you a story about someone without names. There was an accident, and a child, Rahman al-Litzlan, passed in this accident. One of the siblings of this child said to the parent, if you would have been there, then the accident wouldn't have happened. And the mother, in her brilliant and beautiful way of thinking and talking, said, of course it would have happened. Even if Tati would have been there, it would happen, because that's what Hashem wanted. Imagine saying those words. You have to be a tzaddikis to say them. You have to be someone that's totally has a muna in Hakadosh Baruch Hu, and totally believes alufei shel elom that Eberster brought you to this, it's because it was his decision. It has nothing to do with you. So in other times, we could sometimes think, oh, it's my fault. I should have done this, or I should have done this, and maybe I should have done this, and maybe I should have, I shouldn't have made that decision. I should. My kind, if that's where you are, that's where you're supposed to be. That's the way it is. So if you need to get out of your personal gullus, of your gala, and you need to get to your geula, remember that Hashem is the one that made this decision. Nothing happens without him. The minute you realize that that's Hashem, I would imagine that a big rock comes off your back because from Gela to Geula, you have to put Hashem in there. 
the minute you put Hashem into the Gela, you will have your personal Geula. So I will say goodbye for now. And I will do the next uh, one, two, three, four, five, six Alephs in the next segment. Bevirchas, Mashiach now. Thank you for being here.